attacked in Springville. Today, her classmates returned to school for the first time since Alyssa Hearn died. Now, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilon Nugent is live in our newsroom right now, right now with the latest on the story for us. Good afternoon, Keith. Now, it's sure to be a tough day after some heartbreaking news for students and teachers in the Springville Griffith School District. And the district has made sure there are grief counselors available for everyone who needs them after Alyssa Hearn's death. Now, the community of Springville has been celebrating the memory of Alyssa by using the phrase Springville Strong. A memorial has grown at the site of Friday's accident, including notes, flowers, stuffed animals, and candles. This is just one of the many ways the community has shown support for Alyssa's family to keep her happy, energetic personality alive. She was fun. She, she was goofy and she was energetic and um, she had this presence that it just, I don't think one person will not feel the loss of that presence. A GoFundMe account for the family has almost reached its goal, collecting more than $45,000 in two days, with donations pouring in from all over the country. Now, as far as details into exactly what happened in Friday's accident involving that school bus, the Erie County Sheriff's Department says they're not going to comment until their investigation is complete, and deputies are going to continue their investigation today. Live in the newsroom, Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. All right.